last day on V Wars. It's the last day of season one of V Wars. And uh, I'm here. I'm waiting in my trailer to go to set. So I thought I'd say hi. See how everyone's doing. Um, I think I have like food all over my There's so many like treats on set today because it's the, it's the last day. Hi. Thank you. Hi, Mama. Hi, baby. <laughs> um, I'm good. How are you guys? It's emotional. It's an emotional day here. Last day of season one of Viewers. We've got our Viewers hats. Netflix from the producers. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a bizarre feeling. Um, but it's amazing and very exciting. And I'm glad I can finally tell you guys I'm on this show. So to whoever... Whoever last time I was, did a live asked like 11 times, Hey, are you on viewers? Are you a part of viewers? Are you on the show viewers? And I kept being like, I can't answer that. Yes, the answer is yes. Um... I'm sending you a plushed animal. That sounds amazing. I collect stuffed animals, so that's dope. I will cherish it, and I will, I will give it lots of love. I'm good. How are you? Uh, 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 viewers, yeah, viewers. This is what Ava looks like. This is your uh, intro to Ava. A little different from Helen, clearly. <laughs> um, Ava's a little, a little bit tougher. Um, how is working with Ian? It's amazing. Ian's incredible. He is um, very passionate, very kind. Um, he was the first person I met on set. Um, I was in the makeup trailer on my first day, and he came in, and I was terrified. And he walked in, and he gave me a hug, and he was like, hey, you know, we're so lucky we get to do this together. Um, we're really happy to have you on the show. And I was in shock. Um, so... He's lovely. He's been lovely. I had scenes with him, like, my first day, and I, it, he was just so supportive. Um, always has little words of wisdom. When he directed, he killed it. He's amazing. Um, really inspiring, dude. It's really cool to work with him. What is V-Wars about? V-Wars is more, like, grounded take on a vampire show. It's about um, a virus that is in the Arctic ice um, and gets out, um, and starts infecting people and turning people into vampires. So if you have a certain gene in your history, um, then you will be turned into a vampire if you're exposed to this virus. So it starts spreading and people start turning and there's different breeds of vampires based on your genetic history. And, um, so it goes into vampire lore a little bit more. So there's different ways that people feed and different ways people look. It's not all the traditional vampire, you know, it's, it's, yeah. If you've read the, uh, it's based on the books and comics by Jonathan Mulberry and, um, they're amazing. So if you've read those, or if you want to read them, it'll give you a better idea. Um, what's your favorite animal, though? I don't know. It depends for what purpose. Like, just for cuteness, there's a bizarre animal called a, a dick dick, I think it's called. I know that sounds like a fake animal, but it's real. D-I-K, D-I-K. And they're like these tiny little deer or something, and they're hilarious and adorable. But I don't know. That's not like a practical favorite animal. I don't know what my favorite animal question about fan mail. Is there a way we can send you stuff? Yes. Um, I put on my Twitter the address. If you go to my Twitter, you can send it to my agent's office. Um, if you just say it's to me. If you put my name and then you send it to my agent's office in Toronto, I can go pick it up there. Hi. Hi from Spain. Hi, Mexico. How's my heart doing? Remember I gave you my heart and he said he did it. It's good. It's being fed and watered and it's watching great Netflix shows. It's like a, it's like a sleepy little burrito. It's being warm and loved. Um, being given lots of attention, but also being given its space. You know, it's an independent woman. Don't need no man. That's how your heart's doing. <sighs> kind of like The Walking Dead. No. It's not. I don't know how to explain it. 
without ruining things. But it's not really like The Walking Dead. It's very... Yeah, I don't want to ruin anything. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I'm not allowed to say. There's a lot of secrets on this show, so... I'm just going to say not really. It's kind of its own entity. It's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty cool. Ian and his vampires. I know, he's not a vampire in this one. He's a human. He's a scientist. He's a, he's a doctor. Um, so... He's not a vamp, but yeah, it is a vampire show. Hey, hi, hi. Just crying faces. What am I doing that's embarrassing now that requires crying faces? We need a music album with you. Your voice is amazing. Do you write your own song text? Oh, thank you. Um, I don't really think I am good enough to have an album. I kind of just do it for me. But yeah, I do write my own songs. All the songs I put on Instagram are my own songs unless... I say that they're someone else's. Um, yeah, so I do. I write my own songs. I write the music. I write the lyrics. And I jam out on my piano. Have fun writing. Um, but yeah, it's not really. I don't think. I'm, I, I'm not under any illusion. I'm good enough to be like a professional singer. It's just fun. It's a good way to get out your feelings and your thoughts and express yourself. Do you miss the elf ears? I do. I love them. I think they're so cute. I had a lot of fun with those. I do miss them. I have them. I have, like, the ear tips at home. I save them. I'm nuts like that. I wanted them. I, I have, like, old <laughs> halves of ear tips in my kitchen um, from Shadowhunters. So, you know, I can just pop them on and pretend like I'm still there. Helen! Yeah, that's me. Helen Black, the one with stuff. How are you doing? What genre is it? Are there horror aspects in it? Yeah, there's definitely horror aspects in it. It gets pretty dark. Um, I don't know. It's like sci-fi, horror, yeah. Thriller, maybe. Yeah, there's definitely horror aspects in it, for sure. Jonathan, um, who wrote the comic books and stuff, he writes a lot of horror, so there definitely is that aspect in it. Would I ever go to a convention? Yes, of course I would. I would love that. I'd love to meet you guys. I don't have the ears here, but I'll find them and show them at some point. Oh my god, I hear voices. Do I have to go? I feel like I'm going to get yelled at. I should be learning my lines, but I'm not. Is that me? Whatever. I don't know. Um... From Shadowhunters, did you like Alec? Silly question. Yeah, of course I did. Alec's great. I think there's a lot of cool, good, interesting role models on Shadowhunters. A lot of really interesting characters. Um, so, yeah. Fave song from Reputation. It really depends what mood I'm in. You know? Like, if I'm mad at someone or not. Kind of changes my whole vibe. On reputation. <laughs> I don't know. I like so many of them. It's a good album. It is a really good album. Thoughts on Supernatural. Look, I'm not going to lie. I've never seen Supernatural. Ever. Not one episode. I don't know. I don't know. What to I don't know who any of these people are. Sam, Dean, Cass. I don't know. I've never seen it. <laughs> Ooh. Hi. Hi, hi. Um, yeah, if you got, honestly, most of these shows, if you ask me about them, I probably have no idea what you're talking about. I'm kind of out of it. I don't know what to say. I had never seen The Vampire Diaries. <laughs> and then I got on this show, and I was like, oh, I should probably, like, watch some of that and see Ian's show. So I did. I watched... I still haven't seen all of it, but I, I watched The Vampire Diaries. But I hadn't seen it before that. I, 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 a lot of these phenomenon shows, I don't know, I've never seen them. Hi, I'm Eve, and I say hi. Hi, Eve. How you doing? I like your name. Hi from Turkey. Hi. How are you? I don't know why that it made me think. It's so cool. It just made me think of Thanksgiving. I love, like, turkey, like, the, the meat, you know? 
Well, we just had it at Thanksgiving. God, I'm such a loser. Oh my god, girl, get with it. Sam, Dean from Gilmore Girls. Okay, I haven't seen Gilmore Girls either. <laughs> so I don't know who that is. But I'm gonna assume that he's cute because of the hard eyes. That means something. That's worth something, I guess. I, I'll, I'll look these up. I will look up Supernatural and Gilmore Girls. I mean, I know what they are, but I just have never seen them. Hi, hi Moore. Am I saying that right? Hi. What did I do last night? I, it's you. I almost just swore at you. Because <laughs> I realized. I went to a fashion show. I went to a fashion show. I met a crazy Russian at a fashion show and made some new friends. Uh, you know, told some life stories, had a good time. Hi, say hi to me. Hi. I don't know what your name is, but hi. Learn your lines, young lady. You know what? Yeah, I probably should. I know them. I do know them. I'm not that bad at my job, but I, I should just, like, go over them. Oh, hi, you're from Toronto, that's cool. What's up, the six, how you doing? Help you, help you do what, Izzy Freywood? What is it you need help with? You let me know, I'll try and hook it up. Hi, Carolina. Love the wavy hair. Yeah, I wish I could do this, I can't. I have absolutely no aptitude when it comes to styling my own hair. This is uh, Stephanie. She, she was on Shadowhunters too. Isn't that cool? And now she does my hair on View Wars. I took that gem with me everywhere I go. Just kidding. That was not my call. She was just here when I got here. She is not called Eve. I am. She's called Ella. I don't know what's happening. You guys, if you're stealing each other's names, that's on you. I, I cannot do research into what your real names are while I'm doing this. Did you watch Elementary or Sherlock? I never watched Elementary. I saw Sherlock. Yeah, Sherlock was good. I, I didn't stick with it, though. Even though I thought it was really good. So, I, clearly, I wasn't that invested in it. I don't know. Hi from the UK. Kiss me, KKK. Hi. Kisses. Don't use three Ks. That's a bad number of Ks for reasons we should all know. I have an account to Ian. Oh, cool. He's a good dude. Wor worthy of an account. Really wonderful man. Ruby Sarah, you know what's funny? When I was like 13, I hated my name. And I used to make everyone call me Ruby. So there you go, I really like your name. I, uh, yeah, I had like all these fake names that I made people call me because I hated the name Sydney. So I made people call me Ruby for a bit. That was a thing. I had a whole bunch of them. Love from France. Hi, France. Love your accent. Do I have an accent? Where are you from that I have an accent? I'm sure I do, but... Ha, ha, ha. If I could swear on this, I would, you Russian. But I can't. It's a public... This is a... I'm going to send you mean things when this is over, and you know who you are and what you're doing. This is just like, this is just like you. Can you please say hi to me? Hi, Carolina. Hi, Juliana from Brazil. Hi. This person just likes laughing at me. I'm pretty sure this person's commented like a hundred just crying faces laughing at me. I'm a nerd and a loser. I get that. I'm glad I can entertain you on this Friday afternoon. Do I have any scenes with Ian or Kim in the new TV show? Yep. I have scenes with both of them. It's a treat. They're lovely. Big Mood Denver is excited about your new show. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Big Mood Denver. You guys are the best. Thank you for being... That's the other thing. Thank you guys for being supportive. I know it's, like, really tough when Shadowhunters has been canceled and you haven't seen 3B yet. You don't have a trailer or anything. And it's, like, hard to see the cast moving on and doing new things. Um, but you guys have been really supportive when we've announced that we're doing new shows and kind of moving on um, 
and I really appreciate that. That's amazing. So thank you guys for all your kind words and excitement um, for me for V Wars because I'm very excited. I, I'm very proud of this project, so it means a lot. What was it like working with Ian Summerholder? Amazing. He's a wonderful guy. He's super kind and intelligent and passionate and uh, just a really sweet, funny... He's awesome. He's been so great to work with. I've learned a lot from him. Sydney's so feisty. I love it. I just... Ava's a little feisty. I'm just getting in character. That's going to be my out for this right now. Hello, hi. I have no info on when Shadowhunters when Shadow is coming out with the last season. I'm as in the dark as you are. I don't know. I can't wait to see it, though. Kisses to Brazil. <laughs> I'm not going to explain that on there. Okay. I didn't get the 3K comment. Look it up. Yes, you... I... Go on Google and look it up. It's not good. Do we have an air date for V Wars where we can see it? I don't know the exact air date. It's supposed to be like spring in 2019-ish. Uh, but it's going to be on Netflix worldwide. So if you got Netflix, you can see it. Favorite book. Uh, my favorite books... Uh, Chuck Palahniuk is my favorite author. Uh, his book, Invisible Monsters and Haunted, are two of my favorites. And then uh, The Contortionist Handbook by Craig Clevenger is another one of my favorites. They're a little dark, so maybe don't read them if you're not into that. But I love them, and I think they uh, have some very enlightening little nuggets of wisdom about how to deal with some, like, just if you're going through a tough time, how to deal with those things. Very relatable. I really like them. Do I have scenes with Emerald? Yes. I love any American accents. I think it's because I'm British. Oh, cool. My mom's British. I'm a British citizen. I'll come hang out with you, work on my British accent, and then we can laugh at each other's accents. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna get yelled at. Um, oh yeah, I'm glad the cardio thing helped with learning your lines. I found that helpful. I hear walkies and door slamming. I'm scared. Ah. Can I say Eve Gordon with a British accent? Hello, Eve Gordon. How are you? I don't know. That's about all I've got for you. I don't really know what to do. Like, yeah, that's about all it is. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> I ship Helene. Me too. Helene is endgame. That's about all there is to it. Daddy Baines on Twitter. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that I can hold that over Luke's head for the rest of his life. <laughs> I have an innocent mind. It's nothing dirty, the 3K thing. It's a historical organization. It's, it's, it's an organization that's very racist. And has done some very bad things in the past. Look it up. It's worth knowing about. Feisty girl likes dark books. I do. I always have. Oh, you saw Hamilton last week? Did you love it? I loved it. I was in hysteric tears. Like, I... Oh, my God. It was earth-shattering. Earth-shattering. So good. Eh. I remember him when your life... That was so weird. Someone get put like nine times, like, oh my God, look behind you. I was in my car, too, in the parking lot. And I was like, am I about to get murdered on a live stream? Apparently it was a prank. I hope you all enjoyed it. <sighs> Can I say Ella May in a... I feel like Ella May, that's a really good name for a British accent, isn't it? Ella May. That's like pretty regal. Hello, Ella May. Yeah, there you go. That's right. That's what I got for you. Have a good day, LMA. It rhymes. If you had a theme song, if your life had a theme song, what would it be? Oh, God, I don't know. Something angsty. <laughs> and when we were filming Level 16, I made everyone listen to Dark Blue um, by Jack's Mannequin all the time. Like, just a good angsty anthem, you know? I don't know. 
theme song? I'll have to think about that. That's a good question, but I don't know. It's the best thing about being an actress. Uh, you get to explore parts of yourself that like maybe you don't feel comfortable exploring in real life. And you get to connect with people from all over the world, like you guys. And, um, it, you know, it, it, it's eye-opening, and, like, you get to see that we're really all the same. And I love when you get a character that, like, you think is so different from you, and you find ways that, like, actually you're pretty similar. And you learn more about yourself and about the world, I think, being an actor. Joey voice, how you doing? I'm good. How, how you doing? I will not look behind me. I'm in my own trailer. No one gets in here or out of here without going through that door. Okay? I'm not the only... I'm manning the only entrance to this, so I'm safe. Did you watch the banana fish? I don't know what that is. That sounds horrific. But I'm gonna say no, because I don't know what that means. The banana fish. I don't know. I don't know. Why all these shocked faces? <sighs> One word to describe 3B. Satisfying. I don't know. The finale is really... I think you guys are going to be happy with it. I know you're not happy right now, but I think you're going to be happy with it. Yeah. Am I Team Evil or Team Edom? Is it wrong that I want to be Team Evil always? I mean, I'm rooting for the good guys. They should win, but, like, that's kind of boring. Because it's not real, you know? Embrace the dark side a little bit. I'm, I'm team evil. How am I sure that I'm safe in that trailer? Because. <laughs> As you said that, I can hear voices out there. Because Travis is coming back. He's got my back. Banana Fish is anime. What a horrific name for a show. I mean, who? What is the plot of Banana Fish, the anime show? Why would I want to watch that? Favorite British actor? I don't know. I love, I love Idris Elba. Eddie Redmayne, is he really British? It's awful. I think he is. Him. Um, hello, Malik's feelings. How is Malik feeling? That's my question for you. For you. This is giving me anxiety listening to all this outside. I feel like I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. Yeah? Happy birthday, Maria. How old are you? I hope you have a wonderful day full of cake and friends and laughter and fun and love and all good things. I hope you have a wonderful year. Yeah, honestly, Team Evil's aesthetic is lit. <laughs> they look so dope. Like, come on. Tell me you don't want to be wearing all that leather. You can't. Everyone does. Everyone wants to be looking that slick. That's just the way it is. Don't lie to yourself. <sighs> Who is Travis? Travis is one of our wonderful ADs. He, you know, greets me in the morning when I get out of the van. You know, has the task of putting me in a good mood. Brings me to my trailer. Signs me in and out. He's great. We dance in the rain. We talk to each other in British accents. Wonderful guy. What was it like working on Shadowhunters? Wonderful. It was very cool. Um, especially because I knew them all before. I'd been around it, uh, involved in it. I'd seen it grow. Um, I was invested in it. So it was really cool to get to join. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> to get to join it. There's someone on my roof. <laughs> to get to join it for 3B. And um, especially it's Helen. I mean, Helen's amazing. And I read the books, and I loved Helen. And so it was just such an honor. It was pretty cool. Pretty surreal experience. Hi, Trisha. The Wars is dope. It's so different than anything I've worked on before. The characters, especially the female characters, are amazing and so powerful and complicated. And um, 
it's just really wonderful and like for a vampire show I know what you're thinking another vampire show it's not like that it's like a really cool show with very human stories I'm, I'm very proud of it will there be only one season of yours I don't know we don't know yet we finished shooting season one today um, and then that's in the hands of you lovely people and Netflix. They will decide if we get another season or not. We would all be incredibly excited to shoot another season. So hopefully there will be more. But we don't know yet. Dab is Ella's parabatai. Wow. What an honor for you both. I'm glad you found your parabatai. I don't have one. So what does that say about me? That's fine. I don't need a parabatai. I'm fine on my own. Can we entrust our hearts to it or will we get dumped? Guys, that's not how life and love and TV shows work. You know, you gotta just trust. You gotta just give it your heart and see what happens. Your heart's already in it now, so what's the point? It's too late. Just, just fall. You know, enjoy it. <clears throat> Hi, Portugal. I want to go to Portugal. My mom went and she loved it. I hear you guys have great custard ducks. Catherine McNamara is amazing, right? Yes, she is. She's super dope. She's amazing and talented and so sweet and uh, wonderful, smart. Amazing girl. I love Kat. God, I'm going to get yelled at. <laughs> I'm not even going to read that out. I'm not even going to gratify that with a response, Kyle. I wasn't a part of that. Nope. Did I watch The Vampire Diaries? No. I didn't. I had never seen it before I got the show, and then I was like, oh, I should probably watch it. So I watched a little bit of it, just to see. I wanted to see Ian act. I wanted to see his, you know, I wanted, like, to see his style. Um, but I had never seen it before this show. Can't answer that. Thoughts on Lorenzo? Lorenzo's hilarious. Are you joking? Lorenzo is like my inner thoughts all the time. You know? He's so petty. I love it. It's like, I mean, it's not nice because like we all love Magnus and Alec and like uh, we want them to be happy. Great. But like we know they're going to be, they're going to be fine. Like it's, it's, it's Malik, you know? Lorenzo's not going to cause problems. Well, he might, but whatever. I think it's hilarious. I love watching him be so petty and, like, arrogant and, like, I wish I was as confident about anything as Lorenzo is about everything. I love Lorenzo. And Javi's the... Ama Javi's amazing. I love... I love him. Amy is Eve's parabatai and proud of it. You should be. Why would you be parabatized with someone you're not proud to be parabatized with? Tell me that. Where am I? I'm in my trailer on the set of View Wars right now. We are on location. We're always on location. Um, it's my last day. It's the last day of the season. Uh, so I'm chilling in my trailer waiting to be yelled at and brought to set. Do I watch Game of Thrones? I'm not going to lie to you. No, I don't watch Game of Thrones. Crucify me now. I don't watch it. <sighs> is Matt really as tall as everyone makes him seem? I'm 5'2", so everyone's tall compared to me. And yes, Matt's very tall compared to me. I don't know if that answers your question. I kind of have a crush on Ian. Everyone kind of has a crush on Ian a little bit. He's a cool dude. Did I see Ian's daughter? Yes, I did. She's... So cute! And oh, Ian and Nikki, and oh, they're such a cute little family. <laughs>